Audio is good. Let me see. Hello, hello. Okay. Yesterday I forgot to plug it in. Hopefully the reception is good. My reception sucks over here. All right. Well, good morning. It's the first session of the day. Bentley just got out of the cage. He's stretching out, having a good time. We're going to go ahead and start off with some fetch. Good boy. Been teaching him how to bring it back. Good boy. Been teaching him how to love the ball and teach him that I'm the reason <clears throat> he gets to play. Come. Good boy. Good job, buddy. See that? Damn. <clears throat> Amazing that he can bring it back. Come on. Good boy. This is how you can have fun with your dog. Touch. Touch. Good boy. All right, so that's one thing down. Play fetch. He's got love for the ball. Good boy. Sit down. Down. He knows how to be manipulated with the prong collar. He knows the prong collar correction. Now we're working on impulse control, right? So he, I should bring him, I should be able to bring him up to arousal and then I should be able to bring him down whenever I want. At this point, if he sits up, it's okay. I just don't want him to move. Over time, we can be a little bit more strict. When I touch him is when he gets released. But it's all about how you touch him, right? So I can be like, you're doing a good job, Bentley. And then when I release him, Break. Good boy. You do it that way. Good boy. Brings it back. Good. Good boy. Okay, so that's down. Come, 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 come. Good boy. Good boy. All right. Shh. I'm also teaching him boundaries, okay? So if I'm holding the ball, he can't just come over here and start nipping it, slobbering all over my hand. Like, I need my personal space, okay? So he now understands that so if i correct him i say hey if i nudge him with my knee he knows like he's pushing boundaries belly place down good he also knows that he's got to work for me so even if the ball's there and I want him to do something here, he's got to do it. Belly, touch. Good boy. You can tell he still wants the ball, but he's paying attention to me. Good boy. Come, sit down, down, good boy. Belly, touch. We're working on his rear leg movement. Good boy. 
side. Good boy. Slowly taking away the hand movement. Side. Side. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Side. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. At least sit. Break. Good boy. See that? He wants the ball. So he's working for me. Good job, buddy. Nope, get it? Yeah, drop it on my hand. Perfect, buddy. Perfect. I'm, I'm sending a clear message that in order for me to throw the ball, you got to hand it to me in my hand. Good boy. Go. So if he drops it down, I'm going to tell him to pick it up. Sometimes that process takes a while, but if you don't, if you don't send a clear picture, the dog's not going to understand. Good boy. Good job. Sit down. Good. Sit. 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 Good boy. He understands spatial pressure. So if I'm creating boundaries and I don't want him to come through a certain area, hey, shh, shh. relax. I'm able to push him back with just my body and he, he understands, okay, sorry pops, I can't come back that way. So he's being more respectful. He's getting a drink of water right now. So hopefully you guys can hear me because yesterday's video I forgot to plug in the mic. But so far he's doing good. The fact that he's in tune with me and he knows how to communicate. He's not the perfect dog, but what dog is? What's important is that you have the ability to correct the dog and guide the dog to what you want him to do, right? So he knows how to pay attention and he knows now how to critical think. Like, okay, I'm doing something wrong. What, what is it that I need to do right? And he knows how to do that. So it'll be easy for the owner to correct the dog and to tell the dog no, because there's power to the no now. Bentley, come. Shh, 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 shh. Come, come. Good boy. No e collar. Sit. Good. Down. Down. Okay. Down. Good. So now I'm just trying to pair everything with the e-collar. So when you give an e-collar correction, he knows what's going on. He's not confused. <coughs> Belly touch. Touch. Good boy. Side. Come. Good. Touch. Good. Come. Good boy. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. The side command is the only missing piece to the puzzle. Side. Sit. Good. Let's go. 
Belly. Belly, come. Come. See it? Let's go. Shh, shh, shh. Just teaching him that the heel command. When I stop, he should stop. When I tap my leg, he should come. Let's go. So he's part of a command right now. Sit. Good. It's easy for me to mold him now because we have that connection and he trusts me. Let's go. So I'm using both prong collar and e collar to send him the message that if you go too far, it's not where I want you to be. You gotta be right next to me. Good boy. Let's go. Uh, where are you going? Good. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Shh, shh, shh. Right here. Right here. Right here. Stay close. Uh uh. Good boy. Don't want to give him too much treats with this because, you know, you got to be practical. You got to think about the owner. The owner is not going to be going on a hike. It's not going to be going to the store with a pouch of food on her. So the dog needs to get used to walking in public next to the owner without any expectations. So if I ask the dog to just walk nice with me for an hour with no breaks in between, the dog's got to do it. And so I don't want to keep giving treats with this, with the heel because it's going to be expected and if there's no if the dog doesn't smell any treats on the owner it might not listen good boy so we're just gonna create this habit through praise and physical touch and corrections because ultimately the dog should know that it's doing good just by good boy and by petting that should be enough if your dog expects treats and everything then you're not completely done with training let's go nope pay attention good nope Come on. Let's go. Come bite. He's getting a little frustrated, so because we never work on this in here, we always work at this outside the neighborhood. So here he's a little confused, like why are you letting me in? Why what's going on here? Why are we doing this? Shh 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 shh. Sit. Good boy. Let's go. Because realistically, he should be able to do this everywhere. Like the hardest part is walking a dog through a big park, grassy park, because it just wants to smell and everything. Especially this guy, he wants to pee and smell. So for him to be in this mindset and understand that he needs to follow me no matter what kind of surfaces, what kind of smells, any, what kind of situation, it doesn't matter, you gotta follow me. So if I stop, you stop. Right? Good boy! And just give him some pets, he's doing a good job. Let's go. No hands. 
stop. He should stop. Let's go. Tap my leg twice. He should understand. Let's go. If I stop, he should stop. <clears throat> This is a hard thing for a dog to understand, so you really gotta be consistent with it and have patience. Don't be too hard on the dog. I'm on the e-collar working at number 12, 13. Hey, shh, 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 shh. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. No, no. Come on. Come on. Let's go. I'm a very slow walker, so, you know, it's hard for a dog to walk slow like this. So if he can walk in my pace, he can walk in anybody's pace. Come to a stop, he stops. Bentley, down, down. E collar corrections, down. Good, down. It's not really a correction because it's a low stem, it's more a guidance. Corrections is when the dog already knows it. He doesn't know it yet, so we're just guiding him. He's learning how to turn off the pressure. What's up, you guys? Good morning. How's the reception here? What's up, Repo? What's up, Hector? Marvel? Yeah, I got a clicker. Teach him the clicker for that. Love the clicker. Saves my voice. Ideal time of training, first thing in the morning, baby. It's the best thing, man. That bond with the dog, with the fresh air, the quiet. Shh. No, it's the best, man. Your, 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 your mindset and your attitude is good too, but you know, everybody functions different. So find when you're at your best frequency and you train the dog then. Because it's not about the good things you show the dog, right? It's about how you handle the bad things. So if the dog should, being being bratty, being spoiled, throwing a fit. If you don't handle that situation right, then you're going back a couple steps. So it's important that you're on that mindset of teaching and having that understanding that things can go wrong and it's okay. Well, see, as you can see, he's on a down stay. He's chilling. He's relaxing. He whines sometimes, but in his nature, he, he, he's, he's, he's a drivey dog. So, you know, whining's okay. I don't mind that, as long as he sits still and chills. And as you can see, we did a whole heel session for about five minutes, maybe more. And now he's on the down stay. And this is right after we were playing ball with him. So he still has his eye on the prize. I'm telling you, this dog would not sit still when I got him. His mindset is crazy. So it's really about the mindset that you want to change with the dog. You know, and the, the challenging thing is going to be teaching the owners how to handle a dog like this. I mean, what else can I show you? He's, 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 he's a good dog now. They raised this dog really well. He's just a happy, neutral dog. No aggression, no insecurities. So now they can take this dog. Dude, this is like a, this is like a Pokemon right now. 
right? He's like a Pikachu. He was a wild animal, but now he's still the same dog, but with commands. You can control him now, so they can take him to public. They can let people touch him because he's a happy dog. He loves that shit. He loves when people touch him. <clears throat> but now you can pet him while he's on the down. They can come up to him, pet him, and he'll stay down because he's in control now. So mom can put him down at Marshall's and she can come over here, ba ba ba, look at stuff. Okay, come on, let's go. They start walking. It's an obedient dog. He's at the point where he knows how to learn. So if you want to teach him a new command, like backwards or how to bark, it's easy. He understands his job. Break, good boy. Good job, buddy. Good job. Always end a session with playing with the dog. So this teaches and I coordinates, teaches the dog how to bite with accuracy, teaches the dog learn how to grip. Good boy, break, go do what you want now, you're free. Okay, I think we're done here. His, uh, his owner's coming by in an hour. Not to pick him up, but to do some lessons because in order for him to go home, the owner has to be on the same level as me. All right, you guys, have a good day.